Emily Noble, and we are right across the street from the St. Paul Farmer's Market at Heartland Restaurant with Chef Lenny Russo, who is going to show us how to prepare some delicious dishes using local ingredients. So Lenny, what's on the menu for today? Well, we're going to do a chilled asparagus soup. This is really simple. Anyone can do this at home. It's Once you have all your ingredients assembled, it's very, very quick. So the first ingredient that we have is some uh, really nice local asparagus. This is from Stillwater, actually. Oh. Um, now, the important thing about this is uh, this is already blanched and shocked. So it's been cooked through. Uh, the important thing is to shock it in ice water after you put it into some salted boiling water to cook. You have to do it immediately. There are two types of chlorophyll. One is green mm -hmm. and the other is brown. So this is a living organism. So you want to make sure that you preserve the green chlorophyll. Otherwise, you'll get a very unusually colored soup. So, uh, so that's, that's this piece here. We also have some, some spring onions, a little fresh mint right here. And, um, and then there's uh, some vegetable stock or what we call in the business cord bouillon. And uh, there's a little cream. This is optional. We may or may not use that. And then we're going to do a little garnish uh, with some sour cream, some Amish sour cream. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to take this fresh mint. And you know, this is a high speed blender. You can use any kind of blender. You can use a food processor. Um, we like the, the way that uh, this blender works for the consistency of the soup that we're preparing. So we put this in first and then we're going to add the court bouillon. Now, is there a certain kind of mint that you use or? Spearmint, peppermint, Spearmint. whatever you like. It's fine. And you know, these recipes, they're meant to be interpreted. So I always encourage people to be as um, creative as they can with the flavors they choose. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna puree this. Strong blender. It does the job. All right. <laughs> so, so, so that's pretty simple. We're going to season it with a little bit of salt. This is uh, sea salt. Is that a pinch or a punch? That's uh, about <laughs> two and a half pinches, and um, and a little white pepper. And we're gonna we're gonna give it a quick. Uh, that's ready to go. Now we add the spring onion. Is that from Stillwater also? Uh, no, actually, this happens to be from my backyard. Oh, just here in St. Lucky. Paul. Lucky, lucky us. And um, <laughs> and then we're going to put in the asparagus. So there's an option in this recipe to add some cream to this dish if you like. And so we use uh, we use an organic grass-fed cream uh, from Castle Rock uh, in Barron, Wisconsin. And that's something that we have for sale in our market. We, we, our, our market, we kind of think of it as an adjunct to the farmer's market. Um, so when people are downtown shopping at the farmer's market, we always like to have them drop by and pay us a visit and maybe pick up some odds and ends. So, um, so we're going to puree this. As you can see, this is pretty fast. Um, so now it's just a matter of what type of consistency are you looking for. If you'd like for it to be a little thicker, you can add a little bit more asparagus, which we will do. Or again, if you'd like for it to be creamier, you can uh, use the option of adding some cream. I kind of prefer it without the cream, especially since the garnish that I'm using uh, is a sour cream, and I like for the soup to be a little bit lighter. Now this soup is meant to be served chilled. So once it's done, you're good to go. Now you could certainly heat it up if you like, but I prefer to do it uh, chill. All right, and the great thing about it too, if there's a few chunks in there, it's not a big deal. So what we're gonna do now is just pour the soup into the bowl. You'll see there's a couple of chunks of asparagus in there. Just don't worry about it. It just makes it for a more rustic dish. 
That looks fantastic. And then we're gonna do a little garnish. So, so now we're gonna take we're gonna take some of the sour cream. This is an Amish sour cream from Iowa. What and, kind of sour uh, cream did you say that it's was? It's Amish. It's from oh. the Amish farmers. Uh, and then this calls for just a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of black pepper. And um, the recipe, uh, the original recipe calls for celery seed. We're doing a little variation today. We're using cumin. Ooh, spicy. And then we just mix this up. Again, this is pretty simple, very fast. And let's grab our soup. little garnish of the sour cream. I have a little bit of those spring onion tops. You can use chives as well. And I have a little toasted hazelnut. Now these hazelnuts have been blanched. You can buy these uh, in a market, uh, any supermarket or, or um, uh, any sort of uh, co-op will have these uh, where they're already, they've already been blanched so the, the papery husk is off of the outside. So you can see you don't have any of that bitter papery husk uh, getting in the way of your your soup. So, are they toasted as well? They or? are. They have been toasted, and um, and so uh, so that's it. And then, and again, you can. I'm going to let you give this a try. Oh, I know you're all jealous. <laughs> I would be too, but this looks. Oh my! It smells so fresh. That's delicious. Great. Well, let me try it because oh, it's so good. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna trust you. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Tastes like spring. So good. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you, My Chef pleasure. Lynn, for showing us how to make this delicious recipe. So this weekend, stop by the St. Paul Farmer's Market, pick up some asparagus, and try this for yourselves. And until next time, eat good food.